want to surprise you. Nigeria has one of the most comprehensive human rights law regimes in the world, on paper. And that is the challenge I'm going to throw to all of you. Because if you do not know your rights, you cannot know how to fight for them. This country, this is our country, under the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, no Nigerian, under the Constitution, no Nigerian shall be detained for more than 48 hours without being taken to court. If you are not going to be taken to court, the government must go to court to get an order to detain you. So you cannot be detained at the player of the police or the army. Two, if you get to a police station in Nigeria, the police will tell you, must tell you now, these are your rights under the law. Number one, you are entitled to contact your next of kin. If you do not have a phone there, the police will give you a phone and buy credit at the expense of the state. Three, no Nigerian shall be arrested for a civil wrong. Your landlord can never arrest you as a tenant because that is a civil wrong. No Nigeria can be arrested in respect of land matters. No Nigeria can be arrested in lieu of a criminal suspect. The question of, oh, we are looking for a, a father. We can't find the father. We arrest the son or the daughter. That belongs to the past. What are the other rights? You are not bound to make a, a statement in a police station. If you do not want to make a statement, you are not, you are not obliged. In a police station, before you answer any question, you are entitled to a lawyer of your choice. If you do not have a lawyer, if you are, if you are an indigent citizen, the law says the police shall inform the legal aid council to get you a lawyer at the expense of the Nigerian state. The final one, there are many, a legion of right. But let me tell you the final one. And this is where the lawyers and the judges, the lawyers and the judges, have a lot of blame when it comes to the rights of Nigerians. Section 34 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act provides that at least once a month, every police station in Nigeria shall be visited, shall be inspected by a chief magistrate designated by the chief judge. Every other detention facility of EFCC, ICPC, armed forces, and the rest of them shall also be visited once a month. The point I'm making, if monthly detention centers are visited, you can be sure that no Nigeria will be in detention for, for recklessly for more than one month. But as we are gathered here, I know Nigeria so have been in prison without trial who have been in detention, police custody, for months without trial, because such inspection is not carried out. Once the magistrate or the judge visits, he or she is empowered to grant bail their instant time, or order that the person be taken to court, or order the release of the person absolutely. I'm therefore going to leave you with this message that the law is on the side of the Nigerian people. What we now need to do, and we are working to get a pamphlet produced of the rights that have been recognized by the Constitution and other laws. One of you may ask me, can I say in the police station I'm not going to make a statement? Won't they torture me? Torture has become a criminal offense. It has been criminalized since 2017, but Nigerians are not aware. Some of us have shouted as experts. If you torture a Nigerian today and it's proved, the penalty is 25 years imprisonment. If the person dies, you are going to be charged with murder and the family members will be entitled to compensation. So if all these rights are already guaranteed by the Constitution and other statutes, what is therefore left is how Nigerians are going to organize themselves. Neighborhood 
area, every world, there must be a human rights committee, every world in Nigeria, to protect the rights of everybody on the basis of these rights that have been granted. Let me conclude by saying, don't be deceived by those who say, oh, this is not a national agenda. I've told you, I've been, I, I, mean, I can tell you, I've been taking part in the struggle in this country for decades. <laughs> let, me, let me assure those who are protesting that this is one of the most pan Nigerian struggle that we have ever witnessed in this country. The governor said, This is a southern Africa, and that we don't have trouble in the north. The largest crowd ever witnessed in this. A leg looting of palliatives was in that state, just. You also had a massive protest in Joss. We are protesting in Kaduna. We are protesting in Kano. We are protesting in Adamawa. We are protesting in Kogi. How dare you to say that this struggle is sectional? Therefore, I want to thank you, the organizers of this program, and all of you who are participating. Please resolve at the end of this program. You must live here to let the world know what some of the statements have made to you about the rights of Nigeria so that we can get organized and defend the rights of every citizen because an attack on any Nigerian must be seen as an attack on all of us. Thank you very much.